Hello everyone, uh, this is a short video going over some do's and don'ts about SOLIDWORKS. Uh, what system do you need? How to benefit most from SOLIDWORKS? Uh, SOLIDWORKS by far is one of the most uh, known professional engineering, drawing, modeling, and simulation software is available. Over 300,000 companies around the globe that are using SOLIDWORKS. Uh, I, I'm familiar with quite a few drawing softwares and I've been using SOLIDWORKS for the last 15 years. Uh, I don't know how much is your knowledge as far as a drawing software is concerned. I'm sure many of you have used uh, some types of softwares. Uh, there is a long list of softwares. I, I can go over a few of them. For example, um, AutoCAD or Fusion 360 Autodesk, uh, very well known, been around for 30, 40 years. Uh, lots of students are using that, which is which is fine. Uh, Rhino is another software. Uh, it has some good capabilities. Katia, I've used Katia. I like Katia and Maya. So again. When it comes to using drawing softwares, I always uh, tell my students it's almost like a driving a car. So when you start to learn how to drive, uh, you're practicing, obviously you uh, may have a preference. Do you want to go with the stick or you want to go with automatic transmission? Uh, you don't do both at the same time because it makes it very confusing. You learn one, and 90% of people, if they have uh, no driving background, they go by automatic transmission because it's easier, it's more user friendly, and they can focus on more fundamental concept, car handling, road, traffic, and so on. With the same token, I picked SOLIDWORKS uh, for my first year students since a uh, long time ago because SOLIDWORKS First of all, it's one of the most user-friendly softwares. The menus are very easy to use. Uh, you don't need to type anything. It's very capable as well. So it has thousands of uh, features that you can combine them together. Uh, and perhaps if you are in mechanical or manufacturing, that is the only drawing software you ever need to use. Uh, I know SOLIDWORKS has lots of uh, libraries related to the electrical engineering. I haven't used much of the electrical uh, engineering aspect of SOLIDWORKS. If you uh, will pick civil engineering, so you may end up uh, using AutoCAD too, especially for 2D drawings and floor plan. AutoCAD definitely is a better option than SOLIDWORKS. So, uh, SOLIDWORKS, uh, so as many other engine softwares, it works on PC. I don't know if you're a Mac user or not. Uh, I don't use Mac for engineering uh, purposes. Uh, and I can make a recommendation to you what to use. But I can tell you SOLIDWORKS will not work on Mac. There is a kind of back alley solution and that is you install a parallel operating system uh, we can use bootcamp can use parallel there are other ones available so you have to be cognizant even if you are having a pc operating system uh, you will not be use able you have to be cognizant even you install a dual operating system in your Mac, still you will not be able to use 100% of SOLIDWORKS uh, capacity. Uh, if you, again, trying to do that, make sure your Mac is an updated Mac. It has enough space, uh, hard drive, and it has enough uh, memory. If you have an old Mac, you know, is on its last leg, don't try to install SOLIDWORKS uh, or, you know, a parallel operating system because it will not work at all. It will be very frustrating for you.
let's briefly go over what uh, is the recommended or bare minimum recommended uh, requirement for running uh, SOLIDWORKS on your machine smoothly. Um, so what we have here uh, is you need a strong uh, processing power. So you need a, something like an i7, uh, 3 to 5 gigahertz, 4 above would be uh, much recommended uh, in order to be able to handle advanced assemblies and uh, drawings. Operating system, uh, you need Windows 10, 64, uh, bit or compatible. As far as the RAM read access memory is concerned, I suggest uh, at least 16 megabytes of RAM. You need at least 8 for running Windows smoothly. For running software such as SOLIDWORKS, 16, it's, I would say, bare minimum. Uh, 32 is much better, uh, but I mean, it's going to cost you money. I think uh, 16 would be optimal. I have 128 gigabytes of RAM, and you know, of course it's much more expensive, but it depends on what you do. And later on, if you want to add more RAMs, I'm sure you can. Um, hard drive, you need at least 20 gigabytes of uh, hard drive space only for running SOLIDWORKS, and I suggest always to have something about 50 to 100 gigabytes of uh, hard drive uh, free um, if you have solid state drive, it's much better. It makes the computer way more faster. The graphic card, um, there are lots of graphic cards uh, available. I, I would say if you want to buy something, buy uh, a gaming graphic card. It's pretty much the same uh, characteristics that you need for SOLIDWORKS, of course, for different purposes. But, uh, uh, it, you, something that you can handle advanced graphics. Uh, there are a couple of recommendations here. Um, let me just go over this one also. This comparison of something is really bare bone minimum on the left side and something is recommended on the right side. So i7, 16 gigabyte, 1 terabyte, uh, a good um, screen, and then there are Two kinds of graphic card, as you can see, is recommended. Both of them are fairly good as far as the battery is. Battery life is concerned, of course, if you have longer battery life, if you are mobile, um, then you can use your computer without being worried of uh, losing your files or you know, shutting down because of the uh, lack of the battery or the battery dies. Uh, <clears throat> SolidWork 20. Uh, 20 and 2021, 20, so it always goes like a two years, 2019 to 2020, uh, it was available. I didn't want to give it to you because I knew that the next one is coming in a few days or a week. I didn't want you to install 2019, 20, and then you have to uninstall and put 2021. 20, That's why there was a few days delay, uh, especially SolidWorks. It's, it's very temperamental when you want to install and uninstall. Um, bear in mind, SolidWorks, it's a very, very expensive software. It's not something you can buy for 50 bucks or 100 bucks or $1,000. Uh, in fact, if you, you want to buy SolidWorks on your own, uh, you call them and say, I need a SolidWorks, they won't even sell it to you. Say, who are you? So what company you are? How many employees do you have? What purpose of SolidWorks or what aspect of SolidWorks you want to use? And then they kind of customize a price for you. Uh, a company like a Bombardier, if you use SolidWorks, maybe they millions of dollars versus a uh, high school with like a limited license. So the good thing is UBC has acquired the license and you're using it for free. Uh, please also be very cognizant. Do not share uh, the access code with anyone outside of uh, your class and those who are eligible for downloading it. Uh, it's a matter of the copyright as well as it is very unethical. I'm sure that no one in my class uh, will do that. So uh, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight uh, 
about SOLIDWORKS and I really want you to install SOLIDWORKS and see if it works every aspect of it. The graphic is good, it runs, it's smooth. And then when I come uh, first day in a class, I want to see every single of you have installed SOLIDWORKS on your machine. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, to our first day of school. Thank you.